Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I thought I'll start with an outgoing mail video. This is to Vicky, the self-made crafter on Instagram and here on YouTube. And we decided to do a swap. It was initially going to be a flat mail swap, but then she messaged me saying it's going to be a bit bigger. And I'm glad she did because this wouldn't have fit into a flat mail box. So yeah. I'll just show you what I made and what I'm sending. So it's a summer swap. She's using a Rosie Studio collection. I'm using a Simple Stories collection. And we don't really have any rules. So yeah, it was really fun. And I've stopped doing swaps for a while because I was just getting a bit overwhelmed with everything and I just needed a break. And I had so much fun creating all of this. So thank you, Vicky, for swapping with me. But yeah, I'm just going to start because this was a very long intro. So I've got some storeboard goodies in here. And there's another package in there as well. Um, I made these motel keychain charm things. And this is using a die from KS Crafts. I think it came out last year, but it's super cute. We can see everything. There are some charms, which of course are now upside down. But yeah, you can kind of see it. Got lots of flowers in there. And then I have two of these Venom bags. And there are embellishments in here. But I've decorated these. And I'm not, I'm using paper clips to close them so she can reuse these bags. And in here I've got some bag topper shakers. I think this is also a Chaos Crafts die. Love how these turned out. I had so much fun playing with this collection. I will have it linked down below if you're interested. But yeah, super fun summer collection. This one's so pretty. I love it. Love it. And sequins, I think, are mostly from Rachel's shop. Also from my shop. And I think... Some of them may be from Chloe as well. Right in here, I've got two little tags that I've decorated. And I think I've been loving using this black and white twine and I'm almost out of it. But I just love the contrast. It adds. So there's that. I'm going to put it back afterwards. Okay. Then just sprinkled into the box, I'm going to have some rosettes. I was going to package them up, but they're not going to fit. So I'm going to have to squish them into places where I can, you know, fit them. But I've decorated these four rosettes and I think they turn out so cute. I love this one and this chameleon is so cute. So, so cute. And then I've got a tag flip because, you know, I love making tag flips. I have to send one out with every swap and I love receiving them too. And I love how dainty this one is. It's so cute. So I've got a charm here. And then I'm just going to flip through this. And I also found these mini binder or album rings. And they're so cute. I just love it. So here's this one. This is the only, like, really dimensional tag. All of the others are a little bit flat, which I really like. So there's some dimension, but it's not like, you know, crazy dimensional. I love the colors of this collection. They're so cute. Okay. And then... Let's move on to this. This is just another package of storeboard goodies that I just wrapped in this hot pink, decorated with a couple of stickers. Then we've got this little box that I've decorated and it's a sleeve and this is a little sequin box. So there are six different sequin mixes in here for her to use. I just love how tiny this is it's so cute and then i made another camera i used to make these all the time and i haven't made one 
I think in a while and yeah I love how this one turned out um got a bit of a flower cluster here some sequins and seed beads and inside the camera with there are a lot of mini rosettes from like lots of different collections so I thought these would be good for her stash but yeah they're all tiny mini rosettes but yeah I love these cameras they're so cute it's like still my favorite 3d project I love making these okay what's next so let's do this one there's this little box very basic decoration and I love how it turned out because it can go with a summer swap but it could also go with lots of different things so if she decides to reuse it this will go with so many different collections I think and then inside are two little paperclip embellishments so cute so do you see how tiny everything is because obviously i started crafting for flat mail swaps so i needed to make everything as small as possible but then yeah we kind of changed that last minute so these flowers were one of the first things i packaged up and they're so you know i tried to make it as small as possible so we've got some flowers here for her to use and all the fun colors of the collection and then some very summery ones in here along with some sequins and then i thought i'd gift her some wire wrap beads so she can turn this into a charm okay let me grab this item which is a pocket letter it's a six by eight pocket letter and it's so cute love how it turned out i didn't fill the pockets but i just think it's so cute i love this little bird so cute and i've added lots of charms so i've got two dangly bits with like sequins and stuff plus one charm pom-pom a flamingo so yeah it's very very dangly and very cute and then last but not least i'm actually really glad this fits into the box it's um this little box it's a cut file from the silhouette design store and it is filled with some more embellishments and i am going to add some shred so it looks really cute and pretty but we've got two of these camper van embellishments here oh my god these are so cute i love these i love the colors they're so so cute and then we have two, actually four, postage stamp shakers. These two. And then these two. And then a whole bunch of these wax seal embellishments that I made a while ago. But they're really cute and I thought they'd just go along with this. And then some vellum rosettes for her to decorate. And that is everything I've made and I really hope it arrives soon. Obviously it would have arrived by the time this video is up, but I can't wait to see what she's sending me and that video might be up before this one or after this one. I don't know, but I have all her details linked down below in my description box and I will see you in my next video. Bye.